What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Goose, How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. It's a podcast where it's two black men, and we talk about all the things that we want to goddamn talk about, coming from the mouths and minds of two black men, two Damn black right. fathers, husbands, uncles, cousins. Mm-hmm. He's got girls, I have boys, children. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Damn right. We usually kick this off with uh, this. It feel like it's been like five, six months since we've been in here. So we is. only skipped one week. Just one week. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and also, let me go ahead and say this up at the top. We will probably after this episode, we probably won't be back until probably like mid August. Yes, because uh, time is. Of the essence, and yeah. we ain't got too much of it. Yeah, it, this is a busy time for yeah. like everybody right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's on tour. Yeah, I'm on tour with uh, this is gonna cause an argument podcast, me and Angel. Yep, and then I'm going on a new tour with uh, Tony Baker and uh, Kev, the Ball Brothers. Can you believe they took our stuff? They, they didn't mean? include us, the Ball Brothers. Yeah, damn right, That's damn right. right. We, we, just... They're gonna have to see us. Don't right. worry about it. We, we, we going to go on tour, too. Yeah. 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 I don't know what we going to talk about, but. We to. <laughs> uh, so that limits us. And yeah. it really puts a lot of stress on, like, trying to figure out how to do this. And then trying to do it virtual is not the same. Man, y'all know. It'd be stupid doing it. Virtual. I hate doing uh, virtual episodes, and even though <laughs> it's still putting up the content. If we had sponsors, we would make it. We would have to make it happen. Yeah. But we don't right now, and it's just like trying to shoot the episode, get it edited, get it up, and we both moving and grooving and stuff. It's just a lot. Yeah. So hopefully y'all will understand the people that are here every week. Um, but if you're new, new though, man, we got a whole year's worth of content. Year plus. Year plus. Yeah. What is it? Some good content. 50 some weeks of. It's a. Uh, no, we at 60. Oh, 60. 59 or 60, I think. See? So you can go back in our catalog. We got a catalog. Yeah, binge now. watch it. Yeah. And then by the <laughs> time you finish, we're going to be back already. Yeah, ep- we got 60 episodes. See? Exactly. There you well, go. this is 61. So we got a lot. And we appreciate all our followers. We uh, supporters. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, August. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, But... I want to get something off my chest real quick. This is usually how we kick this off. Yeah, what you got going? Uh, I'm I'm glad, but I'm also disappointed that things went well because I flew Spirit Airlines to get to New Orleans for Essence. <laughs> Literally. This is our last episode. We ain't coming back <laughs> August. You flew Spirit? I ain't had no choice. Literally, Spirit, Sheesh. there was nothing there because we got our tickets the week before we flew out because we weren't going to Essence. Me and Angel wasn't. And then um, actually Mel Mitchell talked uh, talked us into going. Mm. Uh, she was like, no, y'all need to be there, Spe- specifically Angel because Angel got so much going on with her song and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, you need to be there, girl. Like, is this, is that? So shout out to Mel Mitchell. And then Angel was like, all right, I'm thinking about going. And then I sat there and thought about it. I was like, I think it'd just be good for the brand if we both go. Yeah. Because it's connections, it's a lot of stuff, um, sponsors and stuff that's out there. And I was like, I think we should both go or whatever. Like, it's just good for the brand. So that's what we ended up doing. And that was like literally the week before our flight. So we went on there and not even a full week. Because the first night we didn't even get tickets. We forgot. (laughs) Then the next night, I wasn't about to pay thousand dollars per ticket to sit in the back of Delta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my knees all cramped up or yeah. whatever, and had a stop. I would have. I said, God dang! So Spirit was the only straight through flight that we found, or whatever. And I went on there thinking, Oh, I'm about to <laughs> goose ain't gonna have nothing on these stories that I'm gonna have to have on Spirit, but. It wasn't that bad of a flight. Man. I had more leg room than I had. What? Unless I'm in Comfort Plus or First Class, I had uh, more leg room in the regular-ass coach section of Spirit than I did have on any Delta flight that wasn't Comfort Plus. Cut this out. I'm Hey, I, I'm just the messenger. F Spirit forever. I look, I ain't saying I love it. I, 
I don't think I'll take the chance again. That was going there. Coming back. F your bitch and the click your clack and the click your clack. <laughs> Greg choosing which word to bleep out. <laughs> F your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beeping more and then beep that. Nah, so hey. uh, and then coming back, the set that coming back plane was like brand new. Oh, the Apparently, spirit? Yeah, it was like a brand, brand new plane. Seats was a whole lot softer. And I got corrected, apparently, because I was like, oh, they got four first class seats. They don't call them first class seats. They call them the big front seats. <laughs> <laughs> Something like what? that. But this time I was at Exit Row, so I had like an extraordinary amount of leg room. And uh, again, actually, I'll take it back. Going on to Spirit, our biggest concern wasn't the airline. Our biggest concern was the stories that we hear about the passengers that take Spirit. Mm, yeah. But it wasn't no issues. That's amazing that you didn't have any issues. It wasn't no issues. Like I said, I feel like we got lucky just from all the stuff I heard. Spirit got me <laughs> But it was time. great, man. I was like, yeah, this ain't bad at all. Mm. They got me one time, and that's the only time they're going to get me. Yeah, I one time, one time only. One time Flow one so time. hard. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <fine. Yeah. laughs> hey, I would have paid the 1000 to sit in the bathroom in Delta. <laughs> I'm never flying Spirit again. Them, they, I hate that airline. Seriously. I, I would n- never. Don't be like that. Dude. Oh, no, man. They this plane was extraordinary. I was on. <laughs> Here's yeah, the fresh paint job. Did they have, that fresh did they have TVs? <laughs> no. No. On the first one, the little TV tray. You know, the, I mean, not the, but the tray that yeah. uh, folds out. Yeah. That bad boy was sizing myself. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even have, like, you know, the seat pocket it in was the back. Serving sardines. It just had, like, elastic rope. <laughs> I was like, Man. they don't want you. No. They don't want you to store nothing on this. But the one coming back, it had, like, all that stuff. It still didn't have no TVs, but. I wasn't mad at it. I was like, all right, especially the second flight. I was like, all right, Spirit. Man, if I, Spirit was, when me and Mel found Spirit, we were like, bet, we can fly here, we can fly there. Yeah. $800 to go across the world yeah. with them. <laughs> they tried us one time, uh, flew down to Florida, I think Florida, we was in the line, flew down to Florida, took my bag on the plane with me, didn't get charged or nothing. Took the same bag back. The lady was like, we got to charge your bag. I'm like, ma'am, I flew down here. I, I I didn't even check this bag. It was a carry-on. She was like, nah, it ain't going, it ain't going to be a carry-on today. And I'm like, well, huh, here's the little measuring thing. Yeah. I stuck it down in there. It fit. Just the caster wheel was just like spinning. Yeah. You could see. She was like, the wheels don't fit. You need to check it. <laughs> I was like, hold up. In Atlanta, they didn't make me check it. This girl was like, are you in Atlanta? Mm. You in Florida, blase, blase. And that's <laughs> I'd have when, been like, obviously. <laughs> that's when your boy had a little attitude. I was like, man, let me speak to your manager. And she did one of them, I am the manager. Nah, type. She wasn't. Yeah, and she got under my skin, me and Mel's skin so hard, man. I was like, and then right before I was about to get into it with some dude, random dude in the back. Bro, you're going to get locked up, shout Just keep on going. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> he, and you just, just came away. He's like, bro, they're going to lock you up, shout Just go here yeah. and go. And I was. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they take it strange. Like, oh, hey, yeah. Man, I've been there. Because he's been he, there. <laughs> he said it so softly and smoothly. And he was, bro, they're going to lock you up, shout Just keep on moving. I was like, mm. Son of, so I've they, had I've had it happen though when they, you go on the airline or whatever and they oh well, your bag won't fit above I'm like I bit probably been on these planes more than you would will fit up there I hate that man especially yeah. when they use a little measuring thing because it's way too small yeah. for what the actual plane is <laughs> the crazy crazy part folk be fitting it in that little measuring thing and then they can't get it out because they yeah. Run, yeah, yeah yeah and now you trying to get it out you done, yeah you don't bent your bag all up. But spirit won't ever. I don't care what it is. We can be stranded. Spirit flying over an island. Yeah. I mean, I erased the help sign on the beach. <laughs> Shit, keep on going, playboy. Yeah. I had a, I don't know, I don't remember which airline it was, American or whatever. And they said my bag, my carry-on wouldn't fit. Mm. I said, if it don't fit, I'll bring it back out here. So she followed me onto the plane. When I tell you it, it, it like you could fit another bag in front of mine. I said, what about this don't fit? Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> it ain't like, even that serious. I know, man. man. They just be on one. Man, we done paid all our money for that. But anyway, I got something to get off my chest, too. I thought you already did it. Nah, that one is on my chest. <laughs> I talk about spirit all day. Uh, uh, we went to Essence. Jace. 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 Oh, Jace. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's what I want to say. We went to Essence. Oh, yeah, and that's why we doing a little drink. Because Essence, all my diet uh preparation went out the window. Oh, it was curtains. Yeah. I still ain't got back. But we're gonna get there. Uh all these BBLs I saw at Essence. Ain't that some smooth stuff though? It is. God damn. I didn't expect that. Woo, I told you. All these BBLs at Essence. Some of y'all got some nice BBLs. The majority, y'all tripping. <laughs> You can't look in the mirror and tell me you don't see what I'm seeing. <laughs> the way I'm seeing it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I don't. Men, men like booties of all sizes. Your booty doesn't have to be extraordinarily huge for a man to like it. Uh-huh. It. it it just has to be a booty. As long as it's a booty, you got a little slit now, it's a booty. Dude's it's like a booty. But the way your legs are shaped and then that booty come out to here and it's almost, it's like a triangle, not a heart. It's not like a nice slope. It's just like whoosh, whoosh, like, yeah. that, whoosh, whoosh, <laughs> like the Superman sign. <laughs> Y'all need to do better, man. Men and women, because I saw I saw two guys. I was like, this dude got a BBL. I have seen dudes with him. I t- oh yeah, I told you about the dudes in Vegas, this, the ones that had the Botox injections yep. on the. <laughs> oh, oh, go ahead, because I got another surgery. I need to talk to. I you about. saw this one dude, and I was like, this dude got a booty, booty, booty on. Look at this. <laughs> hey, he just the twitch. Hey, what up? Hey, let's try to do it um, proportionate. You know what I'm saying? Just you don't go. You ain't got to go ham with it the way y'all going ham with it. Some of y'all's it does look good. Some of y'all, come on, please take your time with it. Just do a little bit at a time or something. Try to work out first. Eat if you eat a lot and lift heavy. Your women, especially your thighs and your hips, will grow because yeah. that's just what that's happens. That's a common myth. Yeah. Uh, women think they should do a lot of reps. To keep from getting big, it takes a lot of work to get big from lifting weights. Yeah, it's not gonna happen with you lifting heavy, Mm-mm. squatting heavy, or whatever. You will not get like all of a sudden get all jacked and big. It will take a lot, and you will burn a lot more fat going heavy. Yep, medium reps versus high, a whole lot of reps, repetition reps, and then your shoulders um, and, and arms and neck and back ain't about to get huge from just squatting. If nah. you're doing lower. Anything, really. It take, these dudes that y'all see big, they got supplements. They own all kinds wow. of protein. They It's so much work to go into it bulking up. Yeah. You're not going to bulk up just by going heavy. They eating six times a day. Yeah. It takes a lot. Yeah. Trust me. You, by the time you see yourself getting bulky, you'll see it coming a long ways off. And you'll be able to slow it down if you want to. If if you, you gonna, really Yeah, you're going to burn point. a lot of fat, though, if you if you go in and go a little heavy. Um, for real, for real. You really will. Just go light on the boot, the, the BBLs. Yeah. I, don't go ham. Like, they. I wonder if they show you all. I don't know how it works. Uh, like a diagram, like, hey, you got the, the, the yeah, regular yeah. package. Yeah, you got... It's, it's a, a, a fast food menu. Yeah. You got a number one all the way to number 15. Yeah. <laughs> you be your best bet would be get a number three and a half, yes. maybe a number four. Give me the 15. Now, nah, baby, you don't understand. Now nah, I want the 15. Doc was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I, hey, it was some sights to see. I enjoyed them, though. I appreciate the view <laughs> and the experience. But some of y'all just, just – Come on now. It it gets you getting yeah. out of hand. 
Yeah, with all the surgeries, man, it almost seems like it's starting to become like a pandemic. <laughs> it's like, so what I was going to say, the surgeries, I saw a news report where this dude, uh-huh. remember you was talking about the Heitner, the the oh, yeah, structure yeah, yeah. dudes, uh-huh. he, got, he went, got a surgery and got seven inches taller than what he normally was. Hold on. After the other surgery? No, no, no. He went and got the surgery oh, okay, to be okay. seven, seven inches, inches taller. taller. Okay. Golly. People just love yourself, man. <laughs> seven inches. That's a good Seven bit. inches is a lot. Five, so I'll be like six three, six four. I'll be your height. You ain't that much shorter than me. How tall are you? I'm seven. F- I, I wish I was seven something. <laughs> now you don't uh, trust five, me. <laughs> I'm five seven. Five seven? Five eight, something like that. I'm five eight. Five, yeah, you <laughs> Yeah, you because Angel's five. Yeah, you about five seven five. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm taller than age. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm above average. Yeah, yeah. Don't, I don't, mean, don't mention average and me in the same sentence ever. Dealing with anything as far as height, as far as height, I am you average, incredible. You are woman average. <laughs> <laughs> don't be talking about women. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> Yeah, then let me let me up. No, I mentioned the man with the these head. ladies. I Goose over the here now. Look, babies, y'all look beautiful with your extraordinary BBLs. Don't listen to Goose. I mentioned the guy with the big booty too. Yay! Yeah. I'm knocking down chairs and stuff. Whoo, yeah, man. man, I was Ill. go ahead before we get on essence. What else was it? Seven inches. Okay. Se- oh yeah, seven inches. That would that's, that would seem weird though. Like. Especially if you just do it to your legs. Like, I've you seen people that's got, like, long torsos, long legs, long mm. whatever, but seven inches. Like, you can't even touch your toes no more. I would love to see him, like, five years from now and see if he could, like, do everything he wants to do. Run regularly. Yeah. thing is, it, it's black dude, too. Like, how – if if there's seven inches added to my thigh, I mean, to this here, my – that'll yeah, be out there. That's about right there. Yeah, that's why. You know what's crazy? What's scary about that? I don't know how they would get somebody to agree. Well, I guess he wanted to do it. But, like, the BBLs, all that stuff, all that is just things that they can add into the body. Mm-hmm. If you want to get rid of it, you can have it removed. Yep. This is your femur bone. Yeah, they breaking it. They breaking it and extending it. Yep. Dang, how did your – I guess your skin stretches. I don't know. That's wild. Let me. I probably should have looked at the whole thing to see if it was gradual. Nah, you can't go in and just do it gradually. You keep going back to get your leg opened up and your femur. From what I saw, they put a rod in, and the rod connects the bones, and they put these screws through the rod, through the bone, and that acts as the extra bone inside of the leg. That's and then uh, I want to say they – slowly tighten them or ex- or, or extend them. Oh, okay. That it, makes sense. As it grows or something like that. Yes, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Goodness. If I I think we said this if I could do You said if you could I do could it. Alter anything. <laughs> I would know if I could alter I anything. That's what goose we went looking and turn it make one shoulder. Damn it tank we walking around like Thriller. Just yeah, like, what's hey. his name? Uh, the principal off in Living Color. In Living David Color. David Allen Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, report. man. You'd be tightening. Ah, oh, dang, my news, feed, uh, my news feed updated, I think. It ain't on here. But The far, the far uh, as I would go to enhance my body would be um, if I had, well, like shaving my body is nothing. Taking the hair off. Having hair yeah, is, is, a, is a, back it, hair removal. Yeah, that's all the other hair is fine. Get rid of the yeah, back. Hair. That's a hassle to me. <laughs> uh, anything else? Mm. Let me think. Height would be one, but I, I, I never, I've never been like, man, I won't, I don't, like. I believe this guy that you're talking about. He was saying he's been getting more ladies now. Now that he's taller. Which I I feel that I think he like that's cap. No, I'm co- man. I know, I know plenty of short dudes that be pulling all kinds of women. <laughs> I know too, but I'm quite sure though. Taller men have a better chance with women than 
or short. If you get a guy that looks just like me, but he's six foot something, I think a woman would choose the six That's foot. That's me, something. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I keep you away from my uh, house, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what Mel told me. What she said, it? we was an answer. She said, We've had, we've exchanged too many words today. Get away from me. <laughs> I, started, I started messing with her. She said, hold on, we've exchanged way too many words hey, today, man. Get away from I me. I told her, I like, now you hey, you stay away from that, man. Shut up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that'll be the only thing, or have like a 12 pack just sitting there. Yeah, man, it was this dude uh, I used to see in the gym, white dude, and he like he would do his, all his other workouts in mm-hmm. shape too. But every day he would do abs. But he was to the point to where he would trigger, like, specific parts. Mm. And he'd be, like, like, on the floor just barely moving. I used to see him do that stuff, I don't know, for months, like six, eight months. Yeah. Finally, one day I said, man, I said, are you – I thought he was doing physical therapy or nothing. He was like, nah, I'm just uh, – just I like doing ab workouts. I like, you know, I like how it feels and looks. And he was like, so what I was doing just then, I was – he raised his shirt. I was working on this over here. This man, it, it looked like – Pebble stone, That's a pebble. Funny. It was just lumps everywhere. Yeah, of just. I said, I mean, it didn't even look right. <laughs> but I mean, but at the same time, it was impressive. I was yeah. like, God dang. He was like, so yeah. When I'm doing it on the side, I'm triggering just this side over here, mm. and then I switch it up. But then, but he had something different for every little section. I was like, God dang. <clears throat> I like that. I like how uh, muscular body looks i think everybody well i ain't gonna speak for everybody but when you see a beautiful girl on the beach with a banging body you it it gives off a certain energy or or she comes in a room and you like oh snap and you with your lady you like let me not look because you know they all look nah, and I'll when that like, do look, look when that, body. oh now with male <laughs> though i'd be like that's what it is a dude come in jack diesel like dang this dude got damn ripped up yeah it's 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 impressive (laughs) it happened in uh who was we at bahamas last year when we took all the kids Mm. we got at this pool right it was like one of the pools at the uh hotel and this is dude he's just a little bit shorter than me but dude is jack just Mm. ripped right and i didn't even see him at first i'm walking to my little section to sit down, and he like walks in front of him. You know how dudes be sizing each other up, oh, right? Yeah. Clearly, he was sizing me up. Mm. I'm nowhere near any kind of kind of good shape, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I know this. I was even tempted to swing with my shirt on. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that. I feel the same. But then, <laughs> no, I didn't do that. With but then, so content. then I, I go sit down, right? And now he's like just in the area. You know, he just standing. You know. With his little bitty shorts on, just standing around, <laughs> acting like he's on the phone. I'm like, and it, it's a kid pool area. I'm like, yeah. where's your kids at? Yeah. Why are you even over here? <laughs> just want so, you then, to uh, see so then, look, look, it's Angel. She comes sat down. I said, man, this dude's tripping. I said, she was like, who? Try to act like she didn't know who I was talking mm-hmm. about. I said, don't act like you ain't see this massive, <laughs> this old action figure right here standing in front of us. Get out of here. You I, seen I, it? I didn't see it. Uh-huh. I did, but I do it too. Did you see that girl's booty? Who? Where? Mm-hmm. I ain't see it. But no, she. Had, uh, I was like, "It's dude." I said, "I told her." I said, "Cause I told her." I said, "I don't know if you know this, but dudes be sizing each other up." Mm-hmm. I said, "It's like he like you see a dude walk past another dude, one dude poke yeah, his chest out yeah. a little." Bit. I was like, "Man, calm down. He ain't got nothing proof yeah. to nobody." So this dude, I'm like, he won. What is he doing? Like, he don't it's know. like <laughs> real salty. You ain't got nothing to prove to me. Nah, you ain't gonna solve That's- me. Look, I know what I look like. I don't care right now, especially last oh, last year. Your boy was Homer Simpson. What? <laughs> Especially on that uh at that at that beach. I, but uh but no, yeah, it's like I do the same thing. I'm like, man, dude's in shape, god dang. Yeah. But except for that Vegas trip, when I seen them dudes with them injections, them ab injections. That was weird. A- oh, ab injections. The, well, whatever oh, that yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the V injection. Yeah. Hey man. People getting uh, it how they live. Everybody's getting something. They got the. Uh, I thought it would stop with the dudes. I thought it would stop with the hair, the calf. The, <laughs> in, in, I, that, well, I that's actually been around for a while. I knew yeah. a lady. Uh, 
this is when I think I first moved to California, and mm-hmm. they said she uh, she had calf injections or whatever. But husband, I mean, because she was skinny and she ate massive calves. Yeah, folks be doing everything. Yeah, with the hair too, the 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 tattoo hairlines and the units, yeah. man. But them units be looking good. <laughs> You can't tell these guys be having fake nah, hair. No, you can't tell. Even and when you be, watch the video, yeah. I'm like, God dang, you can't real. see the the incision, the line. It, they fade that stuff in. Ladies, y'all gonna have to start taking these dudes to the pool. Like, go under. <laughs> One of my partners got it though. <laughs> Did he? And he can swim. He say, oh yeah, three months, six months. He ain't had to touch it. All nah. he do is he go get his hair cut. They cut his hair regular. Does it, it don't grow? Does it how, does it grow? It don't grow. Well, his it? his regular oh, his hair. regular hair still comes in. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see. I yeah. see. Now my thing, is, I never asked him. Like, man, how your scalp is underneath? Yeah. Like when you, you get it redone, you take that bad boy out. The glue has to be and, soaking into your skin. That's All scary, them, man. I know. That sh- it'd be crazy. That's what. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when ladies <laughs> get the lace front. And they mm-hmm. used that, I'd seen. That glue? Yeah, because Mel was, have, she had this wig. And I'm like, look, man, I be seeing these girls on YouTube. The wig will be here. Mm-hmm. They'll take and it off. Little, little net off. Oh. All this will be, like, gone. They hair from, will be from gone. From wearing it too much? Wearing it too much. From yeah, wearing dang. it too much. And then the sun, they oh, get a, they they get get a that, natural that farmer tan. boy, uh, <laughs> you know how they wear the hats too much? <laughs> Yeah, exactly <laughs> like that. I'm like, don't wear it outside in the sun directly like yeah. that for a long period of time. But I would get calf <sighs> injections. I do everything I can to get my calf. I mean, toe raises like I be putting 500 pounds on my back doing 30 toe raises three times a week. Nothing. <laughs> I've never seen anything. I've never seen anybody on YouTube say they calves have grown. Like I heard people, I haven't seen before and after. I'll tell they'll tell you what to do. This is what you do to get me yeah. a cab. You do this and this. Give me a before and after. Yeah, <laughs> I've never seen those. <laughs> you can't tell me. And b- black men in general, though, we're built usually with small ankles. It be mm-hmm. ankles just be small. My Don't, boy Reese got skinny ankles, but his calves. Reese probably shorter than you. Uh. Oh, he was real quick though. We ran track and stuff together. Reese calves are like butt cheeks. But I mean, he, that boy's cat, yeah. and it's it's like calves is big. It look like he like got a crease or like you need to wipe that damn crease. Yeah. His calves are so, big. and then it go down these little bitty. Ankles. I don't know why we like that. I mean, majority of us, uh, but them Nigerians, boy, them boy be thick, thick. Yeah, them boy be thick. The white boy be thick. They just be having natural tree trunk just, yeah, type tree legs. Trunk, yeah. No, nah, I done did. I'd be, I still, I don't skip no leg day. It might look like it just because I'm tall. But I'd be strong, coming strong with the leg day. My calves is like, please, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I'm the same way. But anyway, moving on to Qu- essence. Quads will get bigger, but that's about it. Dang, Go did ahead. we talk? Yeah, yeah. Moving on to essence in general. Um, oh, hold up. We got to touch on this real quick. Go ahead. These people doing these dangerous things. Um Lord be with the people that suffered um, in the implosion of this submarine that went down. Mm-hmm. But God dang, there is, you know how far down the Titanic is? Mm-hmm. It is down, down. And p- the pressure, there's a reason that the space is studied more than the ocean. The pressure down there is immense. And you don't know what's down there. No. The Titanic, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, maybe, yeah. But when they was talking about, I think the second or third day when they were like, "Oh yeah, we're still, you know, searching for them." I was like, "Nah, this it's it's it's, uh, it's curtains." Well, you know me, man, and what I feel about this situation, I don't even think they went down. You don't? Nope. I don't think nobody in their right mind. Well, cancel that. I don't think they went down there because. You have three billionaires, three billionaires, all this money in this one little tube. And now one of them guys was like, hey, make sure you uh, uh, have a strap, a tether, an anchor or something on this machine. So if something happens, y'all can pull us up. 
I think that's just common sense. If you're going to go down, pull us up or have another sub go down there with us. Some some type of backup battery, something. Yeah. Who inspected these? Like nobody. The, check, it wasn't, check, check. This yeah. is, you know. <laughs> then on top of that, there's no. I don't. This dude Charleston White, he is controversial. I already know. <laughs> he is controversial, but he be speaking some truth sometimes. Where is all the videos of these guys preparing to do this? Hey, we going on a trip. We about to go down. All right. Instagramming it, posting it, FaceTime, anything. There's You just hear about it. Well, the thing is, they I believe they did this regularly. No, this no, is- no, not the guys, not the not the – Three billionaires. They don't do it regularly. The guy that that does the that owns the uh, sub, he does it supposedly regularly. I uh, think he's done it like three or four times before, but the other guys never done it. Because I did, I did see a video where the dude was showing how he controls everything. Because it yeah. was like a Nintendo Switch remote. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but it wasn't <laughs> with these guys. That was just a random shooting. But like that nineteen-year-old boy that they had with him um his dad and the other two guys like no one documented any of this so these guys are just they just disappeared then you don't find the ship at all they found pieces of it that's what i'm saying you found pieces pieces of the ship yeah yeah convenient there's just pieces of how you can't find the entire ship all this technology down there I don't know what happens. They should know what happens down there. They got crushed. Okay, but it doesn't it poof be, into smoke. No, it don't. But when you got something like that that, that implodes, it's going to break up into pieces. It ain't going to just, it ain't like a soda can you squeeze with your hand and it's just going to float up in one piece. It's like a soda can is going to crush and then probably just sink to the bottom. But it's not going to crush and then spread, just break off. Obviously, if it crushes, there's going to be some pieces but that not, break off. It's not one solid piece, though, the, the way it was constructed. Like, none of those subs are one solid piece. This was one solid piece. It was one solid piece, and you had – it was one solid piece, and there was just one door that you closed from the outside. There was no just – it was one solid piece. So, they no, the finished product was one solid piece. Okay. I'm saying when they constructed it, mm. it's like a house is one solid piece. But if you break so it up, you're saying the seams of what they put together probably came all of that came apart. Mm. I, I what don't, you think happened to these people then if they didn't go down there? I don't know, man. I just don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see people doing this without having a backup plan. I, I just worth billions of dollars. You're not, hey man. And then you show me a All remote, right. a PlayStation have, 2 remote. But that's, that's the same as the people going up to Mount Everest and they watching bodies come down. You got to be rich to go to Mount Everest. You they got, ain't you, saying, okay, you got me on get that me one. To, get me a rope and pull me down. Okay. So I can admit, when you, you got a good point on that one. <laughs> that's, that's, like, a, <laughs> that's a good point. People be doing stuff, dangerous stuff they, they just do. for the thrill. Granted, I don't know if they did it for a thrill or they just want to see Titanic, but you can see YouTube, watch YouTube all day and see videos of Titanic. Yeah. I don't need to go down there. On top of that, it's as dark as it is down there. No light comes down there. Yeah, you got me on that one. That's true. Like, yeah. and there ain't no telling where that dog sub could have floated off to or what could, what type yeah, of I, current down there. Yes, yeah, you got yeah. underwater currents. I, 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 I don't understand the desire to want to do something like that. Yeah, they, uh, Dang. But on top of that, what Tank just said, there's a video on Instagram of uh, these um, people on the expedition going up Mount Everest and they start dying. People literally, as they're it's going up, bodies are like sliding, sliding down, the, down hill. the hill. Just a lot of people die trying to get to the top of Mount Everest. And there's, and yeah, and you don't see. Again, I just go on YouTube and watch a video. Oh, that's what it look like yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got to go see it for myself. Uh, then I don't, me and Goose could talk about whether it's real or not. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't. Okay, the first two voyages 
of people going up to Mount Everest and they die. That's enough. You see what happens. Don't do this. But then you get 15, 30 people in a group to go travel up this mountain to experience whatever you're experiencing. I'm not sure what it is. Cold, thin air. I, there's nothing up there. I don't other than standing above the clouds. I don't even know if there's a view if there's, there's like an actual view of seeing like landscape or you just looking down on clouds. Or if you can see anything. The video, the pictures I've seen, it's just like, oh, it looks like you're in a plane almost. Yeah. Because you, you look down and there's nothing but clouds. It looks like cotton. Yeah. This is, this happens, is, this is people that have privilege. They don't have regular struggles of life. <laughs> Our thrill is making sure the lights stay on. <laughs> you, you sitting at the house and you like, man, I am bored as hell. Yeah. Let's, Ah, I know where the most, I know where it's the most dangerous shark infested waters. Let's go swim with some sharks, man. Put me in a cage. Put, Put me, me in, in a the cage nah. with some sharks. Matter of fact, let's go on a safari in Africa with no doors, no windows, and drive through a pride of lions and cheetahs and tigers. And hyenas and shit. And let's go mess with the uh, elephants. And yeah. <laughs> then they trample the car and then you rest in peace such and such man get out of here yeah leaving animals alone nobody deserves to pass away but you can't do stuff like this and then you know our thrill man let me pull all the way up to the stoplight beside the cops there you go That's how <laughs> and look at him yeah. what's that you know what i'm saying that's the thrill uh, yeah, I don't get it, man. I don't get it either. I stopped at snorkeling. <laughs> I ain't even did. Well, okay, yeah. No, I, I did. Uh, no, I do want to do scuba diving. But I've been snorkeling. Good enough for me. I did parasailing. I stopped it right there. I learned my let. Well, I yeah, I learned my lesson. I'm I'm talking all this mess because something could have happened to me. I skydived before. Did you? I jumped clean out of a perfectly good plane and... And look at the we pot were. calling the kettle black. Woo! Yeah, the pot is. But if I would have died, hey, I, I couldn't. I used to want to skydive. Yeah, yeah, I would never, ever, 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 ever do it again. After you're up there and you see this and you like, man, why the hell are you doing this? <laughs> That's exactly, as we coming down, I'm like, this is stupid. Anything go wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it's There's no come. I think we were 14 miles high. Or we went 14 miles higher than the regular um, height because we paid extra money to go higher. Hmm. Mel damn near died because she couldn't breathe. As soon as she jumped out the plane, the guy on her back, they like, do not hit the person on your back. If you knock them out, the yeah, parachute's gonna not it. going to deploy. 14,000 feet higher, maybe? It might be feet. Man, we were up there. Up yeah. There. We were so high. I they, did indoor skydive. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm never doing the crazy stuff. It's stupid. It's crazy. Uh, I used to want to until I uh, had kids, and I'm like, all right, I ain't doing that no nah, more. Nah, I ain't doing it. This is, nah. And yeah, I'm, yeah. If something would have happened to me, I I, I I would have deserved it because you jumping out of a, a plane. Uh, these these people that go down into the ocean, they deep dive and they had this rope mm -hmm. and they go yeah. as far down as possible. <sighs> Why, man? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get that either. Why? You and then you can't even, you can only come up so fast too. Like yeah, you can't, yep. it's, yeah, you call what's called the bends or something like yep. that. Like literally your blood will boil from the uh, pressure difference. So you got to come up real slow. How you know how fast to come up? <laughs> what's stopping a shark or whatever down and just coming just to get Barracuda you? Barracuda just. <laughs> but then. If something does happen to you, an animal does kill you, then they going to go find and kill the animal like the animal's wrong. They ain't going to do nothing to that animal. That animal's just trying to eat. <laughs> Stop doing this. Well, I don't think none of our followers, uh, supporters, are like these 
be hunting elephants and no. all that type of stuff. But don't go jumping out no planes. Don't go scuba diving in shark infested waters. Um, African safaris, man, go in those trucks. They got the bars all the way. There ain't nowhere in the hell an animal gonna get inside of them. Cause I need my own gun if I go on a damn safari. If any of y'all go on a safari and get towed up, I don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> Tell you that right now. I'm sorry, I just don't feel sorry for you. You ain't about to just, nah, hell nah. I don't feel sorry for you. But yeah, stop doing all this crazy stuff. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend so we can live longer. Back to, you done with that? The folk doing yeah, crazy I'm stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what I was about to talk Essence. about. Oh, but since we talking about animals though, mm -hmm. there's these videos on Instagram of one was this deer in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. This deer would not move out of the road. So this guy gets out of his car almost as if he could understand what the deer was saying. He was like, okay, buddy, I'll follow you, right? So the deer. Uh, he followed the deer for a minute. Yeah, I think he said 10 miles. Yeah. He follows this deer 10 miles to the back of somebody's backyard, and the deer, the baby deer was stuck in a soccer net. Yeah, like tangled up inside tangled the up net. The, yeah, and he set he set the deer free yeah. or whatever, and the deer lived. Y'all, that deer be dead. If hold on, me. what about the whales though? <laughs> <laughs> we oh, gonna, hold on, we, oh, gonna, we gonna talk about okay. both of you. I didn't know there about was, this whale thing. So some killer whales circle this boat, this uh little speed boat. I don't, hold up, I don't know if y'all know it or not. Killer whales got beef with humans right now. They've been like yeah, they've been ships. sinking ships. Yeah. They've been knocking holes in the bottom of ships, sinking them, and luckily they get uh, rescued before they be yeah, in the water. I'm quite sure. Scary intelligence. Yeah. They're ahead. called killer whales for a reason. They kill everything, um, even big sperm whales. They yeah, kill, they kill other whales, yeah, sharks, sharks, all, all that. But uh, this speedboat, they circled this speedboat, and the speedboat again. Some people were in there fascinated with these killer whales. <laughs> touching them and stuff and the killer whale was like i don't know how they knew it <laughs> but they were like i'll follow you buddy so they followed this killer whale killer whale leads them to another killer whale with fishing net and a float tied around the um killer whale's uh back fin so he couldn't swim so literally they grabbed the float pulled the wire all the way up his fin was wrapped up in it and they cut him loose and they saved the killer whale's life. The amount of feces that will come out of me if I'm in a little boat and a bunch of killer whales surround me. I'm dead. I know I'm dead at that point. I ain't dead, but I'm <laughs> I'm hitting the gas. I'm, they oh, ain't they were paddling? They, they were, they no, were they was running. on a speedboat. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I'm not they sticking around They had a motor. They oh, had yeah, a I'm motor. I'm not sticking around for that. They wasn't in no canoe. No, I'm a, it's gonna, that motor going to be wide open <laughs> and I'm going to be screaming. <laughs> Little kill away. I'm like, no, partner. I need you to help me though. I am <laughs> Audi three trillion. You understand me? How terrified? You know how big a whale is? Oh, and the in the video, the whales are bigger than this man. Boat. Get out of here! And they follow this Joker. It's like three to four of them. Now nah, one is bad enough, man. I could no. Nah, ain't no even the deer. I'm like, hey, deer. I'm about to run you over. You know oh, you ain't yeah. supposed to be in the street. I go slow. I might just bump to, him a little bit, yeah. get him out of the way. <laughs> I'm on about my business. <laughs> <laughs> Catch somebody else, yeah. goddamn. I don't. Stupid ass dude. I would try to get him. Man, you going to get hit. Go on somewhere. <laughs> I would never get the fact that one of these animals is trying to communicate with me. <laughs> Especially uh. some whales. But like, what I love makes, killer whales, but I'd be damned if I ever see one and think he ain't trying to eat me. I have never, ever ran into a dog, cat, or anything and was like, do you need help, boy? <laughs> Lassie. <laughs> What's that, girl? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Someone stuck down in the old way. <laughs> I see an animal coming from anywhere. I'm like, close the door, close the door. Hurry, yeah. hurry, hurry. <laughs> Damn dog stank. The cat got a disease, Man. something. These folks Not follow no this God deer. Dang. 
they followed this deer 10 miles to the back of somebody's Eventually, house. Eventually, I'm just going to think the deer is like, I'm like, I'm going to turn off yeah, by I'm like, man, go on, deer. At the, at the end of the street, I'm like, mm, I'm gone. That deer would have to somehow have a note on his neck. Man. <laughs> saying, <or> start, hey, <laughs> <laughs> my baby, the, don't ask how I wrote this, just follow me. All right, this might be a trap, but I'm curious. Let's man. go see. <laughs> you would have to talk full-blown English for me yeah. to be like, Oh, something's going on. That deal is going to hey, play boy, for real. You ain't high dreaming. Of anything. I'm speaking English to yeah. you. Come help me. Ain't none of these animals talking to black people. No. Nah. And, the, and like, the, the animals going to be like, man, these niggas don't get it. And <laughs> don't the, talk to the white people. <laughs> and if they did speak English, I'm still driving off. See, you screwed me. I must be high. I'm going. <laughs> Hey. On some shrooms or yeah. something. Something's wrong with the AC because I'm clearly <laughs> getting poisoned right who, there. <laughs> who does this, man? I would not be in the big ass ocean. Some whales come up and I yeah. go follow them. It's and then it was almost like the entrance of a cave type situation. And they go save this this whale. But, you know, to each his own. It wouldn't be me though. So if, if, yeah. if there's if a hurt, will have to grab me out of the boat and swim me over to. Hell yeah, you ain't. About <laughs> and to... I'm still fighting for my <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, well, ooh, oh, oh shit, he's roaring at me. Ooh, you know how they how talk. To... <laughs> ah, go! How they try to kill me? <laughs> oh, they gonna be like. Calm down. Oh, my God. This guy telling me calm down because I'm on my way. They snatch you off the boat. I'm gone. I'm like, they got him. (laughs) Goose, don't save yourself. Come back and help me. Man, some whales. Hell no. Hey, I'm like, Angel, sorry. They took, they got you, boy. I I couldn't do nothing. I'm not messing around with no damn whale. Like, baby, why you was late? I uh, saw this deer. I followed this deer Ain't all that. the way, 10, 10 miles down the road. Really? <laughs> a deer. <laughs> oh, why you sweat? Because I, I had to help the deer. You been with that lady. <laughs> what uh, bitch you been out yeah. there with? <laughs> I'm telling you, it was a deer. The deer told me it was a, it was a need. It needed my help. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People that do this, they have no stress going on in their life to think, hey, dear, yeah. let's go, let me follow you. Nigga, I'll be like, man, get, I, I got to go get some eggs from the grocery store. Come on. Or some diapers for the baby. Get out of my way. That deal yeah. would have got, he wouldn't have got straight up, ran over. He would have got nudged until the, Yeah, just bumped out of the way. Boom, move. Boom, boom, boom. Move. Oh, that's funny. The, uh, I tried to help that damn bat. It was that last year, year before last. A bat? Yeah, he was like on the sidewalk. Oh. I could hear him like, you know, they let out that high pitch like that you can hear it. And I walked over. I was like, oh, crap, it's a bat. And the kids was out front playing. And I was like, mm. one of them going to either step on him or oh, run yeah. over him. So I went and got a paper towel and like threw him in the backyard. Cause it don't look like he was injured or something. Mm. But an hour later, that food was right back in that same spot. I said, "Well, I tried. <laughs> I guarantee you, I wasn't gonna try to communicate with him. Is something wrong over here, buddy?" Nope. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> <laughs> My little baby. <laughs> this damn fly in here. Oh, I'm trying to think about that story y'all told me about the bee. <laughs> That's what I was about to. T- <laughs> It's about to say, y'all, my baby, this little girl, <laughs> I'm bringing this up because he's talking about the kids in the front playing and the bat was there. Well, we was oh, in the backyard man. playing and I, there was a bee <laughs> and the bee was on the ground and McKinley, my oldest, was like, dad, it's been. I'm like, yeah, yeah, watch out, don't step on him. As soon as I say that, Makai, wham, <laughs> just step on the bee, right? I'm like, man, move, man. Get out the way. Just come on back over yeah. here. So I'm playing with McKinley. I look back at Makai. This little girl now had, got the bee off the ground and was like, <laughs> just ate the dead bee, man. <laughs> the baby. And went on about her. Y'all, 
I was so furious. You know how you be telling babies to get whatever they put in their mouth out? You like, get it out, get it out. Because you can't really just scoop it out. Because she got, man, she got like all her teeth now. I was like, God damn it. This just, just ate the B. I'm like, what you be? Now I'm like, oh, what, shit. what do you do? About that, I can't even let you go outside. I can't go drink, inside and grab drink a drink. Some water. You gonna, I don't know. <laughs> you gonna be grabbing all the bugs and just eating them. Oh man, this baby be eating everything. I give her crayons <laughs> just to play. She don't make no noise. I'm like, what's she doing? Turn around. She turn around. Got a crayon. <laughs> just eat like a carrot. I'm like, man, something's happening. How that be? I can see her. I don't know. I can just see her uh. face like. Tell me to step on that. <laughs> <laughs> she lucky we ain't in the south. Oh, the big old cockroaches. She probably God, ran dang. man. She stepped on that bee. <laughs> 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 but we don't even. I'm thinking like, dang, who steps? Was know. a bee ever on the ground for you to just step on? <laughs> yeah, and we don't have unless McKinley be stepping on the ants outside, and she see her do that. But she was just straight up like she did it before. She probably has. Right. Because for some reason, y'all, these bees in our backyard where we live, they lit. I don't know if they drunk um, off too much pollen or the pollen <laughs> too heavy for them, but they are la- crash the land. Kamikaze into the ground. Yeah, just like, poo. <laughs> and then they are kind of like walking the grass, and then they are slowly take off, almost like something, like they dizzy or something. That's but crazy. this baby probably has been snagging them. <laughs> The whole time. Because we be out there playing. I'll fall asleep out there in the chair. They just be out there playing. Like, oh, oh, man. She probably be back nine there. left bees. <laughs> she, she ever get stoned, probably you don't, don't even hurt. She, like, she like immune. I do this all the time. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. She probably immune to bees. Don't even care about getting stoned. Oh, man. It, wasn't, it couldn't have been her first, man. <laughs> she, I mean, just like whop. Straight up in her mouth. Sugar like popcorn. <laughs> I hate that little baby man. She be getting on my nerves. <laughs> she, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Plate full of food. <laughs> she do da da. Give me the plate like she finished. Whatever she finished, she would go get on the carpet or whatever. And you know she got some goldfish remnants yeah. everywhere. <laughs> she gonna eat them. De- see a goldfish on the ground. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm like I, I look for that. <laughs> <laughs> like man, I know that thing's stale by now. She, but when she does it, she grabs it. And was like, I want him to see this, and she <laughs> eat it right there because I can't get to her in time. Crazy. Man. Anyway, speaking eat, of kids, uh, eating, eating dang bugs. I was getting caught up on some stuff when I was waiting on one of them planes to take off. Mm. Um, you asked me about the. Uh, about making my kids eat stuff. Yep. Went back to that episode. A lot of people was wasn't understanding where I, I was coming from as far as uh having my kids eat what they should. Mm-hmm. When I say I make them eat their food, it ain't the fact that I'm making them eat something that they think is nasty. I'm making sure they eat healthy and they keep an open mind about their food. Because mm. my kids, they will literally try anything now. Mm. Like we can go somewhere, I order. I can order calamari or oysters. They want to try it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My kids love vegetables and stuff like that. I just ain't not trying to have them, oh, I don't want to eat this. Uh, you know, this is nasty. I want to eat. And then they'll try to go eat some muffins or some shit. Yep. That's what I'm not having. <clears throat> My kids are have a very open, because of that, they have a very open mind when it comes to food. Mm. Um. Anyway, I just want to say that. We're supposed to be talking about essence. We are. Also. Man, we almost at an hour. Uh, Micaiah, what you do? The the food situation. This uh, is a perfect uh, example. Micaiah loves sweet Hawaiian rolls, right? Who don't? That's what I'm saying. She, <laughs> but you know, with me, man, I know with these, y'all don't be on this, but the food is addictive. This stuff, the chemicals they put in this stuff. Oh, yeah, you look at what's the ingredients. Yeah, the ingredient list is long as hell. It should be drugs for real. So. For immediate satisfaction, if Mel doing something, if I'm doing something, just give it a roll. Whatever. Yeah. 
the baby, she, ah, 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 she want the roll. This mm -hmm. is what she does. She want the roll. So I fix food, and she don't want the regular food. She wants the roll. Yeah, that's, that's Amar. So that's where the correction comes in. Absolutely. For me, uh, about no, you gonna eat this? Yeah, not the roll. Literally, yeah, I grab the roll and I say trash. I throw it in the trash right mm -hmm. in her face. Like no, um, McKinley. Now uh, I've been teaching her. Once you eat something, um, try to see how your body feels. Cause sometimes she be like, "Dad, the poop won't come out." I'm like, "What did you eat?" She say, mm -hmm. "Which it might be that. Don't eat that anymore." So she in Atlanta right now with my brother. My brother texted and was like, hey, McKinley says she don't want any cheese on her uh, cheeseburger. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably don't like eating cheese anymore. He was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, cool. She yeah. learning because she know that dairy uh -huh. is probably messing with her. So, but anyway, that's to go to your, yeah. your point too. But anyway, Essence, y'all. Essence was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, uh, social media <clears throat> uh, influencers are like, Emmy movie celebrities now. So you see some influencers, uh, social media influencers, they're like, they're celebrities. They're like the Denzels, the Will Smiths yeah. of the movie world. And I literally had to hold my composure because, you know, I don't, oh, what's up? Bro? I'm like, dang, that's such and such. Yeah. Oh, dang, that's such and such. It was, it was cool. So, um, Tommy from Power, he was standing, he's mad cool. He was standing in the hotel with us. Yeah, uh, at, up, at the same hotel. I ended up with them uh, because I was with Brisha. Uh -huh. So all the stars people, uh, they collaborated and they had like a van taking them everywhere. Yeah. So I ended up running into him like a five or six times. Like and he was like held conversation with me every time he yeah. seen me. Dude was mad cool. That was cool. Now him walking through mm -hmm. Essence, you would have thought it was Joe Biden. Really. Not the amount of security, but people trying to get to him. Oh, wow. I mean, people was like, oh, you know, he was trying to speak. I was like, who is that? And that was before first, before I met him. Uh -huh. And I said, oh, that's Tommy. You know, I yeah. did the same thing. Oh, that's Tommy. I met him and his brother. Uh, his brother was there, too, who looks dead on him. Mm. Um, but no, he was mad cool. But I was, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. You no, I, so I was with the people from uh, Stars, mm -hmm. and uh, usually going to the concerts. Angel, me, I was with Angel and Brisha until I would just break off by myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, we went to one event, and I met the uh, uh, for the cast of Bel Air. Yep, I met um, uh, what's her name? Does she go? Does she go? But Cassie mm -hmm. is the new Ivis. Oh, okay. And then uh, the guy that plays Jeffrey. Yep. Met both of them. Very cool. Very nice people. Uh, we sat and I talked to them for like 30 minutes. Pete. Like, it, they were just mad. A lot of people were cool, but what was crazy is watching. T so I ran into Tab. I see Katara and Tab, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I seen them at the concert. The second time I saw them was at the concert. Tab couldn't get to her seat. So when she did finally go to her seat, I was hit, just got out of my seat to go back to the bar and I passed Tab. But um, no, I didn't see Tab. I saw. Uh, Los and uh, Katara, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, it must have been Tab that you know." But I was looking at the stage, but you should have seen the people that she walked past. Mm -hmm. and of course, they don't know that I know Tab. They probably don't even know who I am. They're like, "Oh, that was Tab. Where? Where was that?" And the word was spreading. You seen like World War Z? Yeah, I seen how that. the virus catches yeah. off. That's what it was like. Like people, people hearing that Tab is somewhere in the yeah. Like you say, oh, it was Tab, but I'm like, who, who, where, what was Tab? And then somebody else hear that, they're just, oh, I was dang. like, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was exciting to yeah. say the least. It was exciting. Um, who else? Um, uh, the uncle off of Snowfall. Uh, I forgot his. Uh, oh, Jerome. Jerome. You know he looks like one he of my walks. Friends. Like the character. Oh, yeah, he watches just like yeah. that. He looks like one of my friends. You know, uh, like Marseille Martin. Yep. Her father, Josh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and. Show sure enough. Because I was at a party, right? They I was do. at DJ D Nice's party. Uh, and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, shit, there's Josh. And it's like dark, so I can't really see. Mm. So I'm like trying to get his attention. I was like, because I had a little, a little area 
and there was a few like high like celebrities that ended up coming over because wasn't nobody where I was standing. Mm. And so I see him and I'm thinking it's Josh and I'm like headed over to him and I'm like, that ain't that Josh. Ain't <laughs> Down to wrong. He, and he sees me and I know mm. he's probably like, who's this looking, looking at me? At oh man. <laughs> yeah. So but I, uh, did uh, Atheon Crockett Spice Adams? I got yep. you, I got to show you his video of Spice Adams dancing at this part. <laughs> that boy is stupid. <laughs> uh, who else I saw, man? Uh, I saw a lot of people, but it was cool to see the influencers, the actors, and mm-hmm. shoot all this the good energy that was happening. I ain't yeah. hear not one argument. No, nah, I wasn't no foolishness. No, yeah, no ignorance. Um, Saw the, Missy Elliott in concert. Missy That's Elliott. My, she's my all time. She's my goat. Atlanta killed it though. Your boy oh. Jermaine Dupree came out and brought oh. all them boys out. Boy, it was. Hey, it was ridiculous. Atlanta <laughs> holds that music, the rap game, hip hop. I mean, it's just so many of them. They killed it. Uh, Ti, Gucci, Luda. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why they ain't had Jeezy out there, but. You know, I guess maybe because of uh, Juvenile did his thing too, though. Gucci, Juvenile, he yeah. came, he he came out, he did his thing for real, yeah. for real. Ju- uh, Juvenile got some good energy too, yeah. And his songs just make you want to. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, twerk. That- Jill Scott did her thing. Yeah, I mean Jill Scott killed it. I was said it. I was talking on me and Angel's podcast. When after Jill Scott got done, I was just like, I don't know how you follow that. Yeah, I was ready. I was like, God dang! But then. Missy came out and I mean, God dang. Missy got a lot. It's a lot to take in on her performance. She got yeah. a lot of stuff going on. Uh, they spent some money on her. Oh set. yeah. They it was the stage screen grew like ten times the size that it was for yeah. everybody. <laughs> it was yeah. like they built the rest of the screen like between the performances. I don't know um, if those watches you saw those watches going yeah. off i don't know if that was specifically for her performance because i ain't noticed them until been, hers yeah. but they were in sync with the beat yeah so the it was like a wave of lights yeah but they gave everybody these wristbands that, that just created different colors yeah it yeah. was crazy yeah was um cool. but no it was a good time man i was i was just so glad i got to see missy elliott that close in in concert and uh just new orleans in general just the vibe and the energy of New Orleans. Yeah. It's just like New Orleans is my just, favorite city in the Yeah, US it's just fun. Uh man, you got I know let, they I know they couldn't wait for us to be over with. Oh man. <laughs> you got all of them people, millions of people that done descended upon that little <laughs> city. <laughs> Taking over. Yeah. Yeah. It's you got to let all your diet restrictions go because you oh, ain't yeah. about to eat nothing. Healthy, and I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. Fried not fish, eat nothing healthy. Fried this, fried that, drinking all you day. You get a grill all night. Man, some grilled fish that you. was off the hook. But that etouffee, yep. every time. That restaurant we went to was whack. I ain't like it. Oh yeah, it was whack. All the restaurants to me, well, no, there was one we went to. Uh, bio, the bio. Uh, they had this some That's fried about fish. The one that we all went to earlier in the day. When we went to that, uh, the one you met us at, no, that one was a lot better than the one we went to <clears throat> earlier. And <clears throat> that was the real, real big restaurant. Oh, uh, 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 Drago's, yeah, Drago's, very overrated. Yeah, yeah, I was like, why are we here? Yeah, everything we ordered, I'm like, why? Yeah, we passed 40 places that would have been b- hole in the walls, it would have <laughs> been bomb as hell. <laughs> why are we sitting in this spot because they got the money, they got the. <sighs> Nah, they give, got the, give, me, uh, give me something the with air pa- conditioning. Give me something with paper menus and the fans blowing the hair, air on me because that food be good. Yeah. Uh, what else we did? The hotel we were staying at, uh, Windsor. I think yeah, the Windsor. Yeah. That was cool. Everybody. It seemed like all the <clears throat> most of the talent was staying there. Yeah. Uh, we ended up at the Marriott, which was probably the best decision we could have made. Yeah, right there by. It the- was literally. Walk out the Marriott, cross the street, walk into the convention center. Yeah. Uh, man, and all the love, everybody came to the Target booth where Kev, Melissa, me, and Mel were that first day. Y'all made me feel good. 
Yeah. Oh, coming up, taking pictures, all this otherness. Yeah, the family make you feel good. Yeah, yeah. It, it, all of that was, yeah, that that was cool. And then all I right. got to see a couple of people from my high school because I don't really get to see anybody from Atlanta anymore like that. But I saw a few folk, and it was straight. I, right. I enjoyed it. Hopefully, in a few years, they'll be paying me to come down there to do something. You know Absolutely. Go on, do some, speak at, do speak a live, existence. do a live manscape, man. Shit. All right, fam. <laughs> we will see y'all <laughs> in uh, mid so August. Y'all had a shade sometime. that booty. In like a month, we'll see y'all. I'm assuming, maybe a little later. <laughs> Goose gone. Let them know where they can find you. Uh, <laughs> you can find me at on IG G double O L Z B Y on YouTube. Building with Goose. And I'm updating the merch uh, website, so just wait on that. Absolutely, y'all can find me on Instagram and Marcus on the Gram, Facebook, Marcus on the Book, TikTok, and Tank Don't Talk. Y'all can find my beard and body butter called Man Shit, and you go to m a n s h y t dot com and check that out. You can also uh, our this is gonna cause an argument podcast tour is a we on tour tickets on sale almost everywhere right now, y'all. We're gonna be in Houston, we're gonna be in D.C. We're going to be in uh, Atlanta, New York, Philadelphia, Indiana, Lexington, Kentucky, and I know I'm forgetting one. And we might be, I don't know, we might be adding in like two more cities because people don't reached out to us. But make sure you check that out. Yeah, get your tickets, City man. near you. Mm-hmm. Link will be in my bio. I got to fix that where I can put up multiple cities. Anyway, until next time, fam, we holler back at y'all. Y'all have a good one.